Alright, I'm just about to train chess and as you can see my room, like, I build inside at the minute because I'm like making a new desk and a new bed and sorting out loads of shit. But I've been away for a few days so I've come back to a shit ton of packages. Alright, so we got a package from BPI, they've hooked me up with a load of protein. Chocolate brownie flavour in ISO HD which is a slightly better one. I've also got this, which is probably going to make quite an entertaining video next week. If you guys want to see me run all my blood, so get like a big blood test, you can see my testosterone levels, my everything. Medichex have sent me this, so you basically take all your bloods from these, which look really scary and have a needle in the end, and then send the shit off. I think they've given me a discount code as well, like an affiliate code for you guys. It's a lot of you guys always ask me where I get these t-shirts from. And funny enough, the t-shirts that just say Create On are actually from a brand called Create. A guy called James Matthews, one of my favourite videographers in London, makes absolutely sick stuff and this is his brand, so stickers. I went for XL because I like stuff to be a bit baggier, but I'm not actually sure if it fits me. I like it like massively oversized to look like I don't even lift. You <laughs> take it off, you take that extra large shirt off and you're like, fuck, you swell. Oh shit, yeah, there's one more thing. Like I said, my house is an absolute shit tip in the minute. Right, I was after a winter jacket and VQ actually do these dope ass down jackets. Proper kind of metal zip that doesn't get stuck on everything when you undo it and do it up. Stretchy bottom. The dope thing about this jacket is it is super reflective. It's so freaking cool. This is probably my favorite one. Fucking weirdo. Why not open train with you, bro? Why not give you the pleasure? Mate, she looked like she wanted to kill you. In hard time of the month, you know? Alright, today we are doing back and legs with that dude over there. So back and legs in the corner. I introduced him briefly in the other video. I saw him really briefly when I was training with him the other day when I did a full day of eating, I think it was. But basically this dude is like an OG. He's the one that kind of got me into lifting. He's the one, like, when I first joined the gym, he's the guy that, like, looked at me like, you're a fucking asshole, why are you wearing that bright orange string? And that's kind of how friendship was formed. Like, he's legitimately a vegan as well. So he's vegan, I'm pretty sure he's gay, but, like, we don't have a problem with vegans or gays, so we, we like those people up on this channel, so we're all good. Anything he says that's, like, really, really, really offensive, he doesn't actually mean what well, he might mean it, but he, like, hates everyone equally, so he's not sexist, racist, or homophobic. Yo, what's good, man? What's good, man? We're gonna train some legs and back today, man. We're gonna do all these crazy lifts, but no one does, so it looks like we know what we're doing, but we don't actually know what we're doing, bro. <laughs> right, we've got Cutler pre workout, I don't know what flavor it is. Five, I think it's actually no, like six grams of citrine malate. I always have citrine malate. And then about 1.5 to 2 grams of HMB in here. And this is gonna be pre workout. Like, I normally take a half hour before I train, but I was like half hour late for Connor, so. Right, we're doing a full send of the boys. If you know, you know. How tall are you? Six five. Right. Six four. Connor's like a tall cunt and doesn't put on muscle very easily. We basically have to do loads and loads of volume. And uh, so that's what today's gonna be. I'm gonna follow his workout and you've got like a weird split which is like back and what is it? Back and legs. Back and legs and then you do like a push and then you just cycle that, don't you? Yeah. No matter how weird or crossfit this workout is, I'm basically gonna follow his workout exactly. So it might not be something I necessarily recommend, but I'm just doing it for the sake of I'm doing autistic. it. What we start with? Good morning. Good morning. I've tried them once, I can't actually do them, so we'll see, man. Connor's got us starting with pulls. Good morning. Dude, how many reps are you doing with these? Uh, I'm going five. I don't want to go max out because my Five by five, man. man. Perfect ball, man. Hey, the gay guys on this channel are gonna fucking love me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna back to this later, man. I've got like tens of nights in my left knee in the middle because my left knee's been absolutely screwed. So most of the stuff I'm doing is like glutes and hammy work, which is why I'm a lot of collar stuff is also the same, which is why I train that. Exactly. Have any quads. I can't even deny it, man. Fuck. Seven. Yeah, so it's like a little tilt and then. So your abs come back, wouldn't you? Yeah, a little bit. Don't really bend at the knees. Okay. So I always bend my knees very slightly, just like Yeah, no, bend it slightly, but don't bend it as you do it. Oh shit. 
Damn, man. Damn. Nice. I'll tell you a funny story. See that bar right there that Connor is currently doing good mornings on? Well, he did Slap City on my back about two years ago and um, slapped me into the bar because I was squatting more than him because he hurt his knee. And he was like being like a jealous little fuck. That's actually kind so, of true. so he gave me Slap City, slapped me into the bar. I fell forwards because he slapped me so hard, just was about to squat, like stand here, fell forwards, smashed my front two teeth, like that, uh, and smashed out one of my front teeth. So, thanks, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. Easy, remember. This is like what I squat when it broke my knee. Three. Four. Five. Still get what, 100? Yeah. I'll see if I need to move that man. Leg strength is something I've really struggled at and since I fucked my knee this summer, I like, haven't been able to squat. So I've been, bigger than mine. I might not even be able to move 225 for five, but we'll see. It's depressing when you have big leg measurements, but they still look like shit. Well, why like, people just have like three trunks. No definition. Nah, no, man, I got tranny hips. Tranny hips? I got hips bigger than most girls, bruh. Easy, come on. Come on. One. Oh, that is strong. Two. Three. Four. Easy. Got a gaze. Five. 315, Paul squats for this dude. He's bulking. That's definitely the only reason why he's stronger than me. And I'm just staying on 2G5 just because my knee. Bounces. One, two. Oh. On the two second pulls. Drive. I was like really strong in my squat form recently just because everything I did it felt like a good morning. Like I was like leaning forwards it, I could not work out what it was. Like I just thought that the squats were like one of those movements that I never got on with. I started squatting low bar for ages and just finally went back to high bar. And now that I've gone back to high bar, it doesn't feel like it feels like my torso is in a better position, if you know what I mean. So I'm finally starting to get squats. Like for me, like I think it's Slightly wider foot position, toes pointing outwards, and then bar quite high up. But like for other people, narrow wider, loads of different shit. How do you squat, bro? Low bar. Low bar. Oh, Always push your knees inwards on the way up. Now, before we go on to back, we're doing stationary lunges superset with a seated. Or well, can we do the lying leg curls? I prefer that one. Yeah. Lying leg curls. Nice. Yeah. Pump that shit, pump it, yeah, keep attention. Wider kind of makes it easier, I find, especially for me. Bro, I don't like almost half rep as I think I'm putting on my knee. Yeah, dude, I only hit like 90 degrees. But yeah, I had knee pain, so what I did to compensate it was go fucking wide, man. Yeah, I think it's the Oh. Who hey. does this? Who? I don't, but I'm so fucking lazy. Bro. Bro, I have a 40 inch waist. I'm Bro, getting this is why you're small and vegan. Because you do things like this. Right, if you don't care about the weights being different like manufacturers, literally, even if they're the same color, even if they look identical, if they're made by different manufacturers, they're, they're, they're the exact same weight. The exact same matching plates, man. I do actually. The exact I, dude, same matching I plates. I actually agree. It's just today, I'm lazy. I'm getting this. 10. Nice. Easy. 
Leave a comment if you want to tap me on the ass. Yeah? Do not say stuff that you wouldn't say to children to my camera. I Nine, ten. <laughs> Fucking hell. That's it, man. To all most viewers out there, man. Mo does this to uh, change lives. His life. She doesn't care about you, he just wants to be rich and famous because he's narcissistic. But you've got to love him for that because he's honest, kind of. Yeah, good set, man. All right, that's my last set on that. Four sets. I did like 12 reps and then final exercise, I did eight to failure. Well, on the whatever it's called. Leg card, I did like eight to failure. I'm going to train back now. If you want to know what the worst ever thing is, we're going to train back and chest and forget ankle vest. One legs, doing back. I got that the intro workout ISO HD is then 20 grams of dextrose to spike your uh, blood sugars as you train yourself. Come on, call yourself. Right, so on this one we got alternate between grips. Connor's doing like an underhand grip, which is probably gonna hit more biceps, lower lat. I'm doing the grip on the outside, which is gonna hit more overall lats. And with, what, you say, what part of lats do you say? This? Yeah. I find it literally just looks like, it's not like that grip, but better. Just that. hit, oh yeah. Look at that. Such good form. And see, look at those forearms. Fucking proportionate, man. Looks so big. Fuck, I got too close. Fucking missing. Oh, God. Oh, God. That way. Ooh. Oh, man. Look at that range of motion, man. Yeah, come on. Shit. Bro, you get this. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, look at the anger now, man. Yeah. Oh. Man, man. Man. Look at that. Oh, now that's the form right there. So perfect. Oh. Get around that back there. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Let's go, five reps, bro. Team Grapefruit! Let's tear those rotator cuffs, man. One. Two, let's tear that bicep. Three, yeah. Four, nice man, nice. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Get it, oh. I've literally got no pump, dude. All the blood's in my legs, so this is not a pumpy exercise. And then you don't start from a neutral position, you start by, with your arm pushing slightly forwards. So lift them up and push slightly forwards, and then just do a row. It's like a half rep row, but pull them back more so you pull through with your lats. So rather than going straight up, you're kind of going like in that motion, yeah. there we go. So if you're drawing the path of the weight, it would be in like an arc shape, rather than a straight up shape. You feel that on your lats? Yeah. So this basically, well, I feel it on my lats, feel it on my traps, because yeah. of the incline, and it's a good thickening movement, bro. Are you bolding? 30 years time, I'm fucking bold. <laughs> well, that's not cool. No, I'm not gonna say 30. My dad's still got hair, but he's got like a What's fuck hairline. Oh, so man. like, I think, I don't know, how am I now? 20? I reckon 30 years, you'll be look, look, like, it's spinning, bro. If my hairline gets to a certain point where it's so, this is one of the reasons why I don't take steroids, because I like aesthetics. If I took steroids, I would go fucking spotty, bold, basically, yeah, right. As, when it gets to a point where I need to shave all my hair off because it's so bad, just holler at me. Either that or I'll start like a crowdfunding campaign and um, get a hair transplant and then become pretty again. Let me know when it gets to that point, all right? Right, that's it. Right, bro, don't have so much of a swing, have more of a pull. There we go. So like less range of motion, but more of a pull at the end. That's it, man. Nice. Yes. Uh. I'm training quite early in the morning. I don't normally train in the morning and I feel so fucking rough. Like at eight, and I literally had a ton of pre-workout straight after. So I've got no pump. I feel sick, but uh, the show must go on. So I don't know. We're hitting our third and final back exercise, which is. What is it? That is cable rope, people don't know. Fast, the guy. Whoa. Oh my god, earthquake, it's so massive. It was the thumbnail. I almost fell and died. I almost <laughs> broke my neck. Right, I'm gonna hit four sets of like 12-ish reps and that. Connor's doing five and five. 
Because he's a crossfit. Because I'm fat. Because he's a fat crossfitter and only does powerlifting rep ranges. <laughs> I feel like the throw up and like really hot. Worst was the headache. Man, it's just there's so much pressure of being a YouTube I'll tell you star. What, brain tumor. <laughs> if I've got a brain tumor, you better fucking donate to my just giving page. Yeah. And I need money as well, man, because it's gonna be stressful for my friend die. <laughs> you don't even like me that much, you just trade with me sometimes. <laughs> man, you're a good fun, you know. <laughs> oh, that is a new way. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa. Get that barrel distortion. <laughs> Yeah, look, see, I am pretty big. I gotta go to the camera. Get, off, get rid of fucking. Oh, get rid of supermarket car park. That's back and legs of Connor. Um, if you actually like Connor and kind of like him being in these videos, <laughs> I'll let you me. guys decide. <laughs> I know they hate they hate people like you. I might do a, a few more sh videos of him, and I'll actually do like a Q and A with him as well at some point because he's really keen to doing a Q and A. Mm. Fuck like, question. The thing I like about Connor is he's literally completely legit. Has like no ego other than the fact he's like really insecure of his body and always trains in a hoodie. But um, other than That's that, true. he'll he will answer like a hundred percent. So any like you can ask all about if I'm natural, this shit, like the time we were gonna go on steroids and we didn't. And literally ask him anything and he the will porn answer we fat 100%. Too, you know? uh, dude, I'm not gonna, no, nah, dude, I, I want to know fat, man. Yeah, same am I. I try, not to, I try not to watch porn. You're not no fat. I am. <laughs> I swear. That was the big, yeah, so am I, so am I. I never fat. I am, I am. Dude, you're literally full of shit. Right here, bro. See you later, man. See you later, man.